an adult audience. Love, love line may contain sexually oriented content. <laughs> Listener discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Yeah, buddy, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. Bill Bellamy is in, in the, the studio house. tonight. You know what? I feel like a part of the family. <laughs> We've come a long way, guys. Yeah. We've come a long way together, man. Oh, You've man. solved all my problems. Thank you very really? much. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been quite some time since Bill's been in here. It's been yeah. three months. No, almost nine weeks. <laughs> now, you're now, four days. He's got something to plug. I know how it works. Yeah, I, I'm actually, um, this weekend I'm performing down in Bray, a brand new club, Improv's Off the Hook. Um, it's going to be a wonderful weekend. Wait a minute, there was no Brea Improv before this? It was. Was, but it was small, you know, it was kind of tiny or whatever. They mm-hmm. went and expanded and, you know, put it in a new building and things like that. Let me say this. I was thinking about this uh, before I took my nap tonight. As I, <laughs> I often, it's my time of reflection. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's, I, it's, it's time I beat off. I reflect <laughs> later after I get up from the nap. That's right. That's you my order. You reflect about how you I feel reflect. guilty and uh, right, right. never do that again. Oh, no, that's after that. Yeah, 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 but I was thinking about Bill Bellamy, and I was thinking, <laughs> this guy is a legitimate celebrity who you can go watch do stand-up in the flesh. It's, right. it's not like some of our other, you know, it's not like a Jeff Ross. And God bless him. I love Jeff Ross. Right. But <laughs> come, look, come on. He's Jeff Ross. You, you know, and we know a lot of these guys. Right. They're not actual. They're they're comedians they're not celebrities who, right and a uh, bill bellamy celebrity that's I have the point somehow, i don't He's know how juice. i did it i don't know how i did it i don't know why you did it i don't that's know why thing. i mean you know what why I don't, are you doing it you're a big celebrity you don't need he doesn't need it to is, do this that's what the, I'm the saying. thing about it is yes you're right i don't really He's need to be real, doing uh, stand up right. but when i came in this business and i started out nobody knew my name no nothing i was just grinding it out in new york being a stand-up comic and it's it's my thing it's sort of like my nirvana you know what i'm saying when i'm on stage like i always write I always write, even if I'm doing a TV show or See, whatever. This is, Adam, when you talk like that, Adam here is like Charlie Brown's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah, the, the idea of, of a, a work, right. B standing in front of people right. and producing an entertaining experience. Adam, I know it's a stretch oh, for you. Man, some you people know, actually enjoy that. <laughs> I love it. I mean, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't do it. And I love to, uh, you know, get out there and meet the fans, the people that, uh, you know, come to my website, that, you know, come to me on the street or people that, grew up with me on MTV, you know what I'm saying? And you're are you one of those guys who got started when you're like 11 or something? Like nah. you were doing stand up, you knew you wanted to do stand up nah. when you were 14. I had no idea. Good. Don't I you didn't. hate those guys? Sometimes I wish I knew like I was like, man, I could have been doing my my dream earlier, but I guess everything happens at the right time, you know, prepared me for whatever. But sometimes I'm like, how did you know you want to be an actor at 8? Yeah, I hate any, but I don't like anyone who knew what they were going to be, even if it's an, you know, could, you be, don't a, care. could be an attorney. I knew I was going to be a, a postman. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> care if it's if it's crackhead. Right. If you know in the eighth grade I'm angry at you. I don't like that. You don't like that. Your head should be spinning around. You should, like, I thought I was going to be a pirate astronaut what? when I was in the ninth grade. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I didn't know. I, I was a pirate astronaut. I'm going to be a pro football yeah. player slash pirate astronaut. Like I was still in high school when uh, I thought we'll that. Figure it out. We'll I was figure in eighth it out. grade. I thought I was going to be a lawyer or something. Oh, I, really? I was thinking I, I would want to be a lawyer. I wanted to be a basketball NBA basketball player. <laughs> I wanted right. to be uh, an architect. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted now. to. I wanted to be able to like to draw my own home when I was little. I was like, oh, well, be so cool. Like if I could just just draw a building <laughs> and like that somebody would make it. Oh, that'd be my building. BB. Ah. <laughs> Didn't happen. B-B. Way to go, B. <laughs> White guys never do that. I never go like, I'm going to build my own building. AC. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because other white Come guys on, man. Like, you can say that. Hey, I'm sure you have some way it. out dreams, man. I know, but I never shout my initials at the end of them. <laughs> oh, you didn't? I never was. Come on, man. I you ever see like that. like Trump Plaza? Like when I was a kid, right? Oh, that's true. And I'm like, damn, he got his own building, Trump Tower. I oh. mean, how do you get your name like Bellamy's Tower? Bellamy could is a good name for it's, that kind of. You know, it's Bellamy real. Apartments, man. It might be like you know Bellamy um, um, yeah. Projects. Yeah, it's I mean, at least as long as I've owned it, it sounds like a it, nice part of town. Nah, could be. It could no. be like, uh, Where you live? We live in Bellamy. He's from Bellamy Heights, man. Oh, Bellamy <laughs> Heights. Bellamy came Heights up different. Different. He started boxing out of Bellamy Heights. <laughs> right. Came up through the mean streets. <laughs> He found his way into a boy's home over on Bellamy Heights. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, <laughs> Bellamy Heights could be bad. 
All right. right. So uh, anyway, you can see Bell Bellamy over there at from the, Bellamy uh, Heights at the uh, Brea Improv, and that is uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. That is uh, starting this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Two yeah. show. Let's see, two shows on, on Friday, Friday and two Saturday. shows on uh, Saturday. Yeah. And uh, for what it's worth, I miss Fast Lane. Yes, I like that show. Oh man, let me tell you, there are a lot of disappointed people out there. I thought that Fox was very, very courageous in trying to do a show like that for TV. Yeah. Just when we get the show right. Right. Just when we figured out what characters are doing what and, you know, whatever's this and Tiffany's doing that and Peter's doing that. Cut. Yeah. Well, you just know, like that. I, you know what? I, I was thinking about it and I was thinking it had to be a really expensive show it to was. make. That was really the problem we had. It's because like making a movie. It, it, have you ever seen the show, Drew? It's a, a crazy stunt. <sighs> Car shot crashes. On a film, yeah. Locations yeah. everywhere. I yeah. mean, it had to be made. It seemed like it was like expensive making a stars. movie. Medium, yeah. Well, not, yeah, Tiffany, yeah, I, yeah. I, I charged them a lot. It's like making a medium budget film every yeah. in week. eight days, and and tr truly, that's what it was. I mean, we 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 couldn't consistently get the numbers that we wanted or that the network wanted because it'd be like one week we do fabulous, right? The second week we do decent, third week we do fabulous, and then thir the fourth week we'd be like nobody would watch. Mm. So then they stopped us for baseball. Oh, yeah. Just as the momentum is going good, they stopped us for baseball for like five weeks. Yeah. How do you find fast? No, you can't find You know, you're looking at uh, Joe Millionaire. No. And also, <laughs> when you think about what it costs to produce mm. Joe Millionaire as opposed to uh, One dollar. Fast Lane. And he ain't really a millionaire. No. So He's go. broke. He gets paid $100, and he gets to uh, screw up about what? How many women he had on that show? About 20? He screwed about 25. Yeah. I they need to let a brother he, be he, Joe Millionaire. I'm tired the of this. Butler too. Yeah, you're right. Come on, man. Yeah. Let, or at least The, the Bachelor. <laughs> Yeah, the bachelor can and do let it. him and it should if if you if you don't do a brother on the bachelor, you should at least do like at least two black girls because the first one's gone the first day. How about how about just doing the, one called Taboo and it's the black dude and it's all white blonde. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would watch that. Yeah, that is something. That for should everybody. be like that should be the OJ. That show would be called the OJ. <laughs> just a bunch of lily white blonde hair. I mean, and like one so guy. lily white too, like like Becky. <laughs> Yeah, Susie and the guy, Aaron. The guy, he's not Bill Bellamy. I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. it's it's the dude who plays a thug, like a real crazy fifty cent. You know, you know the Reebok commercials. The guy plays. Oh the yeah, oh, uh, uh, Tate, Tate, the office Terry linebacker. Tate. Yeah, it's that dude. It's got to be him. He's that loud. would be hysterical. Right. right, and he's got to pound him out like in between commercials. All you hear. Is, <gasps> right. and I like, told you I was a linebacker. And then you're like. <laughs> Coming up this week, a very special episode. Tate doesn't rape anyone. <laughs> Turns out he blew out a knee raping last week. And right. now, so he's now he's talking. It's very special, but it's a special episode. I would watch that, Drew. I have no it, doubt it, you it would. get ratings. I would be right on top of that. <laughs> right after, How do you uh, work with this guy? Straight eye for the queer guy. How yeah. do you work with this he guy? He gets paid. He gets paid the same as me, which I find ridiculous. Can How? You imagine... Imagine, man, you can pay Phil, this you shut up. <laughs> He went to school, man. Well, thank you. That's you didn't go sense. to school. You've no. been crazy your whole life. I didn't go to school, but I say, who makes more? You or Seinfeld? And then he shuts up. Seinfeld made a That's lot of cake. Right. That's right. That's what I'm saying. But you're saying so you but you're saying you're 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 Jerry Seinfeld status and you're getting like uh Gary Coleman benefits. It's not right. <laughs> yeah. Not even Coleman <laughs> there benefits. There you go. Take some calls. All right. I'm saying I'm the comedian. You the his, man. His doctor Dr. So you saying you Kobe. You Kobe, Kobe. And he's Derek Fisher. No, I'm no. saying I'm Kobe and he's the chick from the uh work at the hotel. That's what I'm saying. Now hold still and shut up. <laughs> Right. You wrong, Adam. <laughs> well, is he guilty? Let's talk about this. Oh, my God. I got to know. What, I what say think? innocent. I say, say innocent? innocent. Yeah. I hope he's innocent, I hope too. he is, too. I don't want to see anybody catch a flat like that, you know. I mean, I'm hoping that he will be rectified, that the girl doesn't go through too much, but I doubt it. I think it's going to yeah. be somebody's going to take it, take a fall, right? This, They're going to probably, you know. I don't know. Somebody's character is going to get assassinated. No, I'm a rapist. Trouble. 
Uh, Drew, please. We're talking about Kobe. Oh, now. sorry. Sorry. Okay. This, yeah, this is going to be. It's going to be big. It's going to be ugly. And man. I'll tell you all. And uh, all Kobe can hope for. And uh, I, I, I know it's going to sound horrible, but I was thinking the other day about how nine eleven got a few people out of trouble. <laughs> not the people involved with nine eleven, but Ellen DeGeneres, and not Ellen um, DeGeneres. But, uh, uh, Gary, uh, the guy who. Uh, Condit. Gary, Gary Condit got Gary, Gary Condit. He was so excited. All it was, you know, all the talk was Gary Condit yep. and, and uh, what's Chandra her name? Levy. Chandra Levy. Levy, and he killed her, and he had her killed. You never heard about it again. No. What's her name? The uh, female comedian was uh, boozing and feeling up uh, uh, nine-year-olds kid, and everything. She was like arraigned on that day. You know what I mean? Oh, all really, this though. stuff just went away. So, so we I'm need saying, a big event. I'm not. I'm not. Not bad though. Distract. Let's not. I'm let's not, a distraction. Don't keep your fingers crossed. But if you're a Lakers fan. <laughs> No, I'm just saying it's going to take something like that, and the timing's going to have to be just good enough, and uh, that's the only way he's getting out unscathed. Otherwise, yeah. it's uh, it's game What is on. she like? Did you ever see the movie Final Destination? Yeah. Well, there was a scene when the girl walks off the curb, and then, like the bus is like, mm-hmm. what if that happens to her? You think people would be mad? Well, you mean people would think she she had a contract put out on her? Because <laughs> they had this dude That's who what I heard. was going to kill her. What? You yeah. Didn't hear about this, Drew? He wanted to kill the girl. Did you? It was in he the news. He offered to do it. Offered for $3 million. He was like this, uh, said he had connections to um, like so the Aryan Brotherhood or but something. But who, who, who was, was going to pay him, though? I... I <laughs> I, I heard you know. was going to pay him. Who I turned him in? Pay him, I don't know. Adam, I heard you was going to pay him. I, I, was, I, was, I heard I was, you was going to give him 1.5. I, I said I was in for a taste, but I didn't say I was going to pay the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> Drew, remember that? Yeah, I, I, okay. you, you said that. I know yeah. what you're talking about. He's in trouble. <laughs> Dr. Drew was smoking. Right, we'll we keep our fingers crossed for COVID. I never, I've never seen a doctor so laid back. Oh, I he, mean, he must have some well, weight in the He car. doesn't have a care in the world. He gets paid the same as me. I bust my hump here every night. He just sits back, <laughs> right collects his out. check, and goes home in his BMW. He went to med school, man. I'm telling you, that's worth it all, man. Thank he you. went to med school. That's a hard That's a hard feat, man. Kira. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Dad paid, no paid for it. His dad paid for it. I had a stepmom kicking me out of the garage, for Christ's sake. Kira. <laughs> Couldn't even be in the garage. Yes. Wasn't even attached to the house. Hello? Couldn't be in the garage. Hi, Kira. Be. Oh, Hi. Kara? He's had oh, a lot. I, got I was there you, today. Imagine right? if he hadn't had therapy. Oh, He's had, my like, God. He's got 15 years under his belt. No, oh, yeah. Oklahoma. What's up, Kara? Yes. You're 24. Hi. What's up? Um, Pretty much, um, I started dating my boyfriend about three months ago. Mm-hmm. and uh, Or actually, six months ago. But about three months ago, he started, um, he started stimulating me with his fingers. And pretty much, he can't, when he, he hits my G-spot and it... Makes it, when I come, I can like squirt come across the room, like past mm-hmm. his head. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bill, you like that? Yeah, that was hot because she said she can squirt clear across the room. I just saw a stream. I'm like, that's fantastic. Yeah. Is, it, is it a spray or a stream? Is it a spray or a stream? That's a good question. Um, I guess it's kind of, I don't know. I should ask him. <laughs> okay. You don't see it. Do you, do you, does it feel good, though? Is it like a good thing? Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. A stream might be urine. Right. Well, but it doesn't smell like urine or, like, taste like it. He says he doesn't, it doesn't taste like urine. <laughs> doesn't taste like it. So you just, he's standing against the wall and you shoot it in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I it's like a seltzer bottle. A couple times. <laughs> so is there a question? Vagina. What's your question? Because you're doing um, fine right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, my question is just pretty much for Dr. Drew. Where does it where does it come from, and what? How does female ejaculation work? I was thinking, I was thinking like, about the Family Guy tonight. They had a sex education class, which was a vagina junction. What's your? Oh function? yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> that was a good one. So where does it go, Drew? Yeah, that's a good it one. Either Drew. comes from the bladder, in which case it is female orgasmic incontinence, or it comes from the the think. And they, actually, there's some debate about this, but there's a multiplicity of glands in that area: the Barthlin's gland, the Skene's glands. And there's lots of opportunity for stuff to be produced, and so there's just a discharge with a very strong contraction where it's all sort of released and uh well, what if why, you, why is, okay. what if you did something to the actual opening that it came out of i'm not talking about it's the pr- vagina but i'm talking openings. i mean it comes out yeah comes out like a sieve yeah and it only like, comes out during an orgasm yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. why doesn't every woman do it cuz uh um, you know yeah. it's just like, like you don't see that that often there's yeah. they call them squirters yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know i think everyone that. should squirt yeah but um whoa, we just got all do you hear that? We're, that on echo? A, we're on a few second delay now. We can't in our head. We can't hear a damn thing. Oh, well, listen, I'm taking my headphones off. It'll be better. 
Yeah. Hey, I, I don't know if anyone's into that. Are you into that, Bill? Yeah, I think that uh, squirting is really fabulous. It's uh, it, At first, though, it feels weird because the first time it ever happened to me, I was kind of thrown off. I was like, Did you? Well, hold on. That, that was a dude. No. Yeah. No, this was a yeah, girl, but, and it was a little uh, crazy because okay. you don't know. Was she peeing? No. It was just like she said. It was like, you know, right during the orgasm. <laughs> Where were you? I mean, were you on top Something or was, you, was your head uh, down there? Uh, no, no, and no, I think I was on the bottom. Yeah, I was it, on the bottom. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's, that's what good, it's... You not, weren't performing all oh, the Oh, no, nah, that would no. just be crazy. You yeah. just need to shampoo on the spot. Yeah, see, that could happen. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Drew, have you ever experienced this no, before? No, I can't say I have. Uh, no, no. Right, well, something right. I've missed in my life. He yes, constantly jerks off. Okay, mm. Adam, mm. Um, have you ever experienced this? No, no, but I've never been with someone who had an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really... I. I, I don't know that women can have orgasms. Not I'm always no, suspicious. Just, I, think, I, I think you Not might be. Sex. I think you might be a, a little quick on the draw there, buddy. No, no, no he's I'm, the ninja. I, I take a long oh, time. God. They just don't know. They don't know I'm in them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just think they still. You know, it's like not, they don't feel nothing. Nah. But you're tearing it up. You smoke everywhere. In my mind, in I'm your mind, you're up. killing it. Yeah, I'm oh killing my God. it. I love you like a fat yeah, kid. Yeah, it's, like, it's like beating someone up who's asleep and they don't wake up. You, you know what I mean? You think you're kicking ass. You ain't doing nothing. Over. Yeah, but uh, I, I've given a few uh, via the oral sex, but uh, never. Uh, uh, maybe I have. But you know what's weird? I don't like, like, once in a while, you'll tell the chick, like, like she'll be like, I can't have one if you're in me. I can only have one if I'm right. rubbing on myself right. or you're rubbing on me. And you go, like, well, why don't you rub on yourself while I'm in you? And they go, okay, I'll try that. And they go, uh, uh, no, 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 not working. Not working. And you're like, what, what, why, why wouldn't that work? I mean, yeah, you Especially got your this hand penis. There. You got my penis. This little you one. You got your hand. It's yes, perfect. like they're like, no, it's too much. Oh, too much. Too much. Yeah, I, they can't. Maybe they can't focus. No, no, guy, no, no. No that guy again, has ever said too right. much. That is that's that's again one of the biological differences between men and women. There is right. no equivalent for that in the male. We don't have that problem. Like no there, guy. There's no, no even guy, perceptual experience like no that. guy no. ever. No guy ever was like. Um, uh, banging some chick doggy style, had another chick licking on his neck and another chick licking his nipple and went, whoa, 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 too much. Whoa, hold on, that's too much. No, I'm, I'm that's being overwhelmed. A, I, think overwhelmed. That's, I think that's a straight cardiac arrest right there. Let's all just step back. Can Let's you just, just back up off me? So I need, I can... we, need some, we need some cuddling for a minute here. I need no, some, I need some that's, no that, that guy's like, who's got some Coke? <laughs> now we got to do some Coke. You know, that's what guys are like. Chicks are like, chicks get like, you go, you know, get the vibrator out. Let me get going. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Too much. Yeah, Too much. We, I think the ladies need to work that out. We yeah, should all come that? together. We should all mentally get They should figure that out. At the same they, level. Really, they should figure it out amongst themselves, but they don't talk about it. Yeah. They don't. And there's no, there's no sort of language for them or forum for them to talk about it realistically. Wow. So it's all just, supposed it's to be like. Their thing is, if you're not like a 17-year-old male, then you're flawed. So shut up. Don't talk about it. Oh, uh, there you go. Viana? Viani. Viani. Sorry. Hello, Viani. What's up? You're 25. I'm 25, and I have this situation where I am constantly needing and wanting sex 24-7. And I've always been like this. It's not like where it's something where it just automatically happened. It's happened since I was like nine years old. Mm. Yeah, well, that suggests something special happened when you were like six. I'm really horny on the time, yeah. all the time. Always horny? And anything always. Anything happen to you? Or you what, get molested what? or your dad no. leave you or do something weird to you or something? No? You know, and I, I've gone to counseling for it because I am actually divorced and mm -hmm. my ex-husband couldn't keep up with me. And he used to take like those corporal pills to try and keep up with me, but it didn't work. Yeah, and now the boyfriend I have, um, he's always sore and says that you know. I mean, he's keeping up pretty good. How many? But, how many times? How many times a week are you good for? I'm at least three or four times a day. Mm hmm. It's in the morning. It's at night. I wake up and I'll go at it. Are you I not wake. wrong? You're not wrong. I'm, you know what? I am raw, and that's one thing I was going to talk to you guys about because. I'm at the point where I am raw, but you know what? It's it's a raw where I'm like, I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. yeah, something happened. Something seems yeah. weird here. Yeah. We're not missing anything. No, Nobody, and uh, you know, I've gone to counselors. I've gone to um, psychologists actually, and I've been to I don't know how many. 
because, like, even I was. All right, Drew. What let's about? Ask, let's what, well, let me ask the right question. You you're with you, you grew up with your biological parents. Yes, they're both married still. They're. I have a normal family. My father's an attorney, mm -hmm. and actually, I'm I'm well stable, and I've gone to college, and and you have relationships that are stable. Yeah, I was married for seven and a half years. He was psycho though because. He was in the Marine Corps, and I thought, you know, marriage is one thing, and you stay married forever. And yeah, yeah but you, 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 you scrambled with his God. brain with poontang. Maybe he, he, we couldn't see straight anymore. Uh, and your dad wasn't. No one ever hit you growing up. Um, he he was he he was always gone, like on on boat and stuff. I mean, when he was gone, your husband. Let me ask you again. Growing up, no one ever hit you. No. No. All right. no, I mean, hit. I would get, I would get spanked because I got, we got in trouble. My father yeah. was a strict and military guy. Okay, and when, um, would he hit you with an object? A belt. Okay, that is physical abuse, and that is one of the sources for sexual compulsion like this. So that's, that's that why I like it rough and my hair pulled and that's me being where, That's <laughs> where that comes from. Correct. Really? That's where that comes from. Yeah. Wow. Well, just what? 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 And so how do you Andy, make that correlation? I don't get it. It's, well, it's why we knew to ask those questions. That's where that comes from. When you get beat like that and stuff like that. Beat, well, what it, it wasn't does, beat and it wasn't constant because my Vianney, father was always Vianney, like, yes. you know, What happens when a child is made to feel powerless and particularly feels pain, it actually prunes out some of the cells in the brain. So in order to feel arousal again, you have to be have a very high level of arousal in order to even feel sexual again because that part of the brain doesn't exist. It also walls off parts of the brain that you need to communicate with to have a, a stable and, and sort of integrated experience in a relationship. Whoa. And, all right, but wait and, a minute. And so, me, and so yeah. she chooses a guy who's abusive. Oh. That's the, the Marine guy that all she right. chose. True. That was abusive. And, and what, become, what becomes, makes powerlessness in childhood becomes attraction after puberty. So things that made her feel powerless now become very alluring. Wow. And that's where that all comes from. Uh, see, that's why he gets the money. See that? Yeah. You would have never that said that. No, he would. He knows it. <laughs> no, he don't know that. He, he would have said spank her ass some more. That's but what see, she needs. the need. Marine Corps guy was such... He didn't have a spine, and he couldn't strap his balls on, so he never oh, he wasn't man, like that. Are you, you are angry, baby doll. Yeah, yeah. What are well, you so <laughs> angry? I mean, I understand you're angry. I, it sounds like you just hated your dad, and now you're angry at all, man. Well, she oh, didn't my know. God, no, I love my dad. See, she doesn't know that. She doesn't know I, what do you mean? No, your dad doesn't sound I, like a great guy. First of all, he's an attorney. He has to be a bad guy. No. All, all attorneys are evil. Just like uh, all doctors are spineless. <laughs> right, Drew? <laughs> yeah, why? Yeah, to pee with them all over the My state. My dad's a good dad. He went, he went for a law firm where there were the big law firm, Phillips and Associates out here, and he didn't like the way they were treating people and how he, they were, like, money hungry, so he went on his own because he thought he can help. Now, what about I'm, the part where he was beating you with a belt? When I was young. I mean, he wasn't that, beating. It wasn't like he was, like, sitting there just, like, thrashing. Right. Well, some, <laughs> sums up. He, he, then, look, some people this happens to, and they don't turn out like you, right. and then yeah. other people do. But you happen to be one of the people that turned out like you. Because of it's it. It's quite a coincidence, isn't it? Is, yeah. I have it's, a question. Yeah. If if you're raw, right, and, you know, that's sort of, like, uncomfortable. But she likes the pain. Pain yeah. is part of the experience of arousal like, for her. Why can't you just give yourself a day of rest, you know, let your body heal so you can enjoy it? It should be an enjoyable thing. But doctors saying that it's more of a the pain is more but of it, a, it's like it's like saying if you're high on speed and you're freaked out and you haven't slept for three days Stop. why are you going out to score more yeah you know I'm what I mean? Really the same thing. Horny. all right so listen Vianney, yeah, you may also have some bipolar stuff going on too yeah Vianney. you got some issues and you're gonna have to work on this because you're not you're you're not going to correct this problem by finding a super horny guy who'll bang you five times right. a day, or denying that it exists. You know, people but are trained how many to man. Counselors do I need to go to to for them to well, all tell me go, that I'm okay? That I'm just go to one that very, first of all, see a psychiatrist, I, and see one who has experience with sexual compulsions. You got a vibrator? You have? I do. Wait a minute. You saw somebody? No, with no. She has a vibrator. I, I understand. Both. She has yeah, a vibrator no and a shrink who specializes in sexual <laughs> compulsion. That's where she, she got the vibrator. Right, Evianni, I'm going to recommend a name to you. Uh, Patrick Carnes. Patrick. She, she lives in Phoenix. He's in Arizona. Really? Yeah. What the hell kind of shrink goes to Arizona? That's where, that's where it's hot out there. That's yeah. where I think a lot of people haunt it. The brain's fried. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's their yeah. two It's hot. 114 every Patrick day. You need at, to get some love on. At the Meadows. Okay? The Meadows. All right. Listen, Evianni. The Meadows, yes. How often do you use that vibrator? Um, not often anymore, now that I have my boyfriend. 
Okay, you're gonna you're gonna wear him out like a like a like pencil. a Mexican uh, wearing out a Hirachi. Do you understand? <laughs> like a number two pencil. You're gonna ruin your relationships. You're gonna ruin like all your number, relationships. You I can't. mean, like a number two pencil. Yeah. yeah, she's gonna grind it down. Yeah. Thing thing just goes in. It's like a. You uh, can't do anything too much. Like that's like anything too much. Or anything is bad. It's that's just, right. It, that's not to right. say bad, but it means something. I told Drew. It means something. Uh, that's what I said about the back door with Drew. I said that's enough. That's what I said. I said that's <gasps> enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I said. You said finally. I said no. finally. That's enough. Yeah. All right. Listen, she, now look, I agree with Drew. We'd like to just say, oh, man, this chick is hot. She yeah. is horny. But this chick has got problems, yeah. serious yeah. issues. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit excessive. Bill Bellamy in studio tonight. You can see him down at the uh, Brea Improv, and that's yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. This Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Two shows. Two big shows. Two big ones. Two big shows. It's on Friday, on two Friday big and shows, Saturday. and Saturday, two big shows. Everything else is one. i tell you what you want, though, with a woman that wants, that's that horny. You want that for a weekend. Uh -huh. Like, that's cool for a weekend. Like, you guys go somewhere, and you do it like that all weekend. That's hot. Yeah. But come Monday... Kill yourself. That's right. This is done. Yeah, take a, a little deal. Bactine bath and uh, get a crab comb and really do some soul searching. <laughs> Just a Bible and a crab comb. That's what I do on Monday. All right, we'll take ourselves a little break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Give us a call. Bill Bellamy. In spite of Bill going steady with us, he doesn't seem to know much about me, does he? Uh -huh. Bill's Bill would be a great like in, investigative journalist because Bill's like, how long you been doing the show, dog? Twenty, 20 years. Damn, twenty years. When did you start? Uh, let's see. It's I didn't say I was a math. Two thousand and three. Mm -hmm. Minus twenty. Eighty three. Damn. <laughs> That's a hard hitting interview. Like he was gonna say sixty three. <laughs> My I've bad. been doing the show for 100 years. <laughs> Damn! When did you start? Let's see. <laughs> 1903. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he didn't believe. I thought he just didn't believe you. And That's he was what I thought. Screw yeah. you up. That's like, basically what I was saying. Like he was yeah. working at well, the you door. Know, Dr. You know. Shapiro, you say you're 39. What year what were you, you born, son? <laughs> uh, an 88. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> People do that on this show all the time. They oh try to pass God. themselves off at 22, and you're like, okay, when were you born? And they're like, uh, yeah. 90, 90, oh, let's see. Um, 89. Carry the four. Like, hey, listen, here's how you know you're busted. If you if you got to do like a, a four-second uh before you give the date, it's a wrap. That, that, means, that means you're yeah. doing some math. Yeah, yeah, you're doing wrong. And usually then get it wrong, too. Oh, yeah. And, and I would say not within five years, oftentimes. <laughs> Here's the rule. If you're going to lie, lie in, in increments of 10. It just makes it easy if someone pops you. Like, right. if you're 15, say you're 20, then you can go back and you can say, I was born in yeah. 83. Or say you're 30 and go back and say you're born in 73. You know, it makes it easier. Don't don't pass yourself off as 37 and a half. It's oh, you, way, oh, way yeah, too you, much. It's too much math. Way too much math. <laughs> you, you'll have yourself being born around World War I. All right, Bill Bellamy going to be at the uh, La Brea, or I should say the uh, Brea Improv, which is uh, coming up this week, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Two big shows. I think that's Orange County, isn't it? Is yeah. that Orange County? Yeah. I'd say it Orange is. Orange County, yeah. No better place to see comedy performed than uh, Orange the County. Yep, yeah, you go down to the OC. To the OC? You see the BB and the OC. <laughs> yeah, Drew? You take it from AC. I, I, like, I like that. I yeah. like how you're doing it, Blair. <laughs> I like it. Well, uh, hey. You're 18. What's up? Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, Adam, man, you are a comedic genius. Oh, great. <laughs> Thank you. Com and Dr. Drew, I, you, I, yeah. <laughs> words can't describe you, my friend. Words cannot <laughs> describe you. 20 no, years. I don't know how to take that. All you got to do is go to med school, man. You can do and, it, too. <laughs> oh, I was, I'm trying. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. That's what's hot. up, Will? Um, yeah, I'm uh, 18 years old, and uh, so school just started. I'm a freshman in college. Pretty hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um... So uh, we had this little escape thing where we went to the mountains, you know, and one of my good friends from high school came with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hang on so, a second. You mean like a freshman retreat kind of thing? Yeah, kind of like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So people from the your new school took off and went to a camping trip? Correct. All right. right. Yeah. So uh, we're going up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and um, 
you know, and we all we were all sitting around the campfire and stuff, and we all had a you know a few drinks and us. And um, t -t today, Junior. All right. Mm -hmm. So we, all, we had a few drinks and us, and we go to bed. And my best friend, who we've been like platonic friends forever, and she's really hot. And uh, I go to bed. Why is she, she just been your there friend? Too. And um, so she gives me the little wink, and I'm like, dude, what's up? And she's like, no. uh, I'd like no, a yeah, more. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. And I come gets, over and hold on. Will, shut up. up. Stop. You're getting, you get nothing. Yeah. You're getting nothing. You're getting nothing. I have to do it. <laughs> she gives me a little wink. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, you retard? She's a really hot chick. Hot chicks don't go camping, by the well, way. That's start, only in I porn said, why, movies. Why was she just a friend? Yeah, and then he, yeah, It was please. very unspecific about yeah. what this camping was. Gave me a little was. wink. She's probably a cyclops. Go ahead. No, she didn't give him nothing. He didn't get anything. It's just completely, completely bogus. Completely made up. Sad. That was, wasn't even a good bogus. No, but I think it was good because I think Bill's stoned. I mean, not Bill, Will. No, no. Yeah. Stone. I, I, no Will break. said he was got to be. No, no. Come on. No. Come on. He's no. got to be stoned. Will. Yo. You got to be baked or drunk, right? Uh, I was a little baked. No, right no, now. I mean right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right this second, Will. No, What's your point? What's your question? What you no, no, no. Forget it. He doesn't get a question. He doesn't get a question. It's all bogus. It's all bogus. But, more, and I had to but you're high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you high now? Uh, no. Okay. That's bad Good. news. Yeah, because that means this is the way you are all That's the time. Right. Wow. People do that all the time. They always argue. I I'm not drunk. Oh, really? Then you're a retard. Yeah, you should say you're drunk. Yeah. Yeah, because then that, that means this is just the way you are. Yeah. That's All day, times. every day. That's right. Unless, ironically, when you're drunk. Maybe you're some sort of genius when you're drunk. By the way, I'd like to point out, that call has been on the, on the screen each of the last three nights. And it's been on like 90 minutes at a time, and I've not taken it knowing it was a bad call. Really? You just and felt that. Drew tonight, feels. I went, all right, we'll see what he's saying. Okay. Again, maybe it's Well, that, that's my only solace, to know that these uh, bogus callers who stay on hold mm -hmm. for an hour, two hours and at a time. have nothing to say. Malia? Yes. You're 19? I am. What's up? Um, last year, I broke up with my ex because he cheated on me with a bunch of girls, and... Now I've met somebody new who I really like, and I can't right. seem to get past the trust with thinking that he's going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Well, given that you're attracted to him, I'd say that's a reasonable bet. Meaning uh, you're attracted oh. to the kind of guys who cheat. Right. Yeah. You're attracted yeah. to him. Well, has what this happened before or just to one guy? No, it was just him. That was the only guy who's cheated on you? Yeah. Was he, ca was he caught in the act, or was it really a no, actually, tragic? No, um, actually, his one of his girlfriends called our apartment. Ugh. Your that apartment. So, you were living with him? so yeah. awesome. You're 19. Mm-hmm. How old was he? 33. Oh, You're yeah. fast. Oh. That's great. True, please. And what happened? Did you answer the phone? 19. Yeah, I answered the phone. And, and what'd you do? Did you do that thing that chicks do where they get the information, then they sit on it for a while, and they go, somebody interesting called today. Yeah. And you go, yeah. <laughs> Honey, and you start you hearing that music. No, like it's a movie. No. You start hearing that music. See, they were a friend of yours. <laughs> Told me some very no, interesting things details. about I got all the details like most women would, and then you would. I sat on it for a good five minutes. I threw all of his clothes out of the house, and then I gave him two black eyes at work. So, Oh, you went to work and just socked him? Yeah, in front of all of his coworkers. Wow. Oh, my God. Now, how old you is got, never she has fast hands. hands. How old is your new boyfriend? 36. 36. Now, oh. was, it, was it one good pop in the nose that gave him the two black eyes, or was no. it a quick left-right combo? No. Um, it... I hit him pretty hard. Wow. I mean, he's 6'6", six, six, and I almost knocked him down, so. Answer the question. One good way. shot in the nose? No, two. I hit him twice. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Left, right? What? What? How, nice. how do you hit a man twice that fast? He don't have a chance to block maybe, maybe got one, and then a few, a few minutes later got another good one. In oh, yeah. Side. And also, when you know you've been busted, like I had a girlfriend punch me out <laughs> once, and I was happy. Because this then... Gets you off of whatever it is she was punching you about. So it's over. Well, it's not quite over, but she then is apologizing to you, theoretically, Wait, when you should you. be apologizing to her, and all you got was a whack in the head. I mean, you'll get over that. Malia, Malia those are violent person, so yeah. we got something more I, going I take on it you were very, very hurt. You trusted this person a lot. <laughs> Malia, what, what are, what's your nationality? Italian, um, Mexican, Armenian? What do you got? No, I'm Native American and Scottish. Uh -huh. Oh, Ooh. so you like to do a little drinking, do you? No. No? No. Really? No boozing? No. Just punching? Yeah. 
Okay. Well, and, when all right. No beers. Yeah. No beers because dad. Well, was... but but to, heading down. By the way, uh, uh, you know, finding out your boyfriend cheated and looking over on, at, at him on the sofa after having a couple of glass of wine and whacking him one is one thing. But driving down to his work <laughs> and yeah. punching him yeah, out. Yeah, that's crazy. That that's that's crazy. That's time. premeditated. Right. Well, that's yeah. how, you should have gone to jail for that. Yeah, that's premeditated. Yeah. You should have killed him. You not killed him, but you should have hit him the moment, the moment you call. Because now you got time to think. How can right. I embarrass this You're guy? Driving over there. I'm gonna let him know. I mean, you could have just put all his clothes so in like, the tub and poured bleach on him. That's right. I've heard it's of that. an assault. Are you violent? Are you a violent person? No. Oh, no. no of course not. Yeah, of course not. Now you come. Okay, so you don't have any weird problems. You're, nobody was an alcoholic in your family, or didn't so. or violence or anything. Of course. My mother is an alcoholic, yes. Yeah, of course. All right. Is there violence in your family? No. Of course. Mom no. was never violent. Please. Come on. Of course, she was kind of out of control. Somebody had to do something. Otherwise, it, there's just something up, right? Is that where she gets no, the rage my, from? My mother was had issues with her relationship with her boyfriend. With a lot of fighting and violence. And stuff. Yeah, right. they yelled yeah. a lot. But so it you, was had never... to, you had to be around a lot of chaos in order yeah. to live this kind of that, life. Yeah. All right. So, Malia, we don't trust the guy you would cho choose. That's our problem. Hmm. You know, it's not that all guys cheat. It's that the guys you choose cheat. The ones you're attracted to. The ones yeah. you really are into. Yeah. Those are the because guys you're, that you, are going to cheat. You like to dance. You like to mix it up. You like some chaos. Because of your chaos, because of the trauma, you got to learn not to go after guys you're super, super attracted yeah. to. you got to go to guys that are a little more boring. Find a guy a little more boring, well, this, and he won't cheat. guy, I'm not super. He's not one of the guys I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, you're not, oh, good. You're not super into good, it? Good, good, good. Good. Right. He won't How cheat. Do do like How do you go out with somebody you that's... That's well, like okay. You got a drink. Why would you do that? You have a choice. You, you, you can be into somebody that really makes you excited and be miserable, or you can have a pleasant life, a real, true intimacy with somebody. That so you, you're, you're saying, saying to me, not, not, I not you. Date. I'm just saying. No, no. Oh. You're, I don't know. You're a trauma survivor. That's oh. for people that have real serious trauma histories. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. See. So when you date, you shouldn't have a lot of information in your head so that you could figure out what you're oh. dealing with. We should put together a little handheld device. You need, like, you need some kind of, you yeah. need a questionnaire, basically, when no, you meet no. a new chick. I'll tell you what we need. No. You know, you see the quarterbacks in the NFL wearing those yeah. wristbands yes. with, with all, all the little, plays. little just guy like, tuck in. Like, yeah. he'd be like, uh, how's your dad? How, what do you think you did? That son of a bitch, I'll kill him if I ever see him again. Check. Okay. Check. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that, see also part, algorithm. Uh, yeah. You, you get her, you, you, she orders a Long Island iced tea, and you guys are out for lunch, and she just shotguns the thing. That's uh, another wristband. Man, thing to check. She oh. uh, yeah, but that, but let me tell you, all this stuff adds up to great sex. Oh, the sex is but, uh, until you get incredible. You, but you got to pull out because you get her pregnant and until then you get married you and then you're screwed. You actually have a stable That's relationship, right. then no sex. Oh yeah, then it all that shuts happens down. Still it shuts down. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. What'd you say? Mm -hmm. When you have what? If you have somebody like that who's super, super sexual, more often than not, when you actually establish a true intimacy, the sex completely shuts down. Because they can't do they it. Can't, they, get, they can't handle intimacy in sex. And then when things start going smoothly for a little bit, That's they got to stir it up. Then so they yeah. go nail one of your friends right. and somehow yeah. let you know about it. And Magically. then you go flying. Then you get the bleach jug out. And, and then you get to go you know, push somebody and give them two black Right. Eyes. They're right in the middle of it. That's just where yeah, they like it. Good time. All right. Let's take ourselves a little break. That's a great weekend. Lessons with Bill Bellamy, <laughs> learning all about the ladies. <laughs> uh, Going to be the Brea Improv coming up uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And Sunday, I should say. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's... Dr. Drew, phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. What the hell was I going to say? I was thinking, yeah, Cheap Trick is in here tomorrow night. Haven't, Whoa. Uh, never even seen those guys. Never met them, but I always dug their music. So uh, they're coming in tomorrow night. We'll talk to them about that. Bill Bellamy in here tonight. In the house. Bill is going to be at the uh, Brea Improv, and that is coming up uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. And uh, let me tell you, I, how do... Can they go to your website if they want yeah, to find out? Yeah, they some can stuff check out. This? Like, if you want to, I just left uh, Miami. I have a lot of tour dates coming up. Check out my website, uh, BillBellamy.com. Real easy. Mm -hmm. Check it out. It's right there. Um, all you know, the different shows, movies. I got a guest book. If you want to go on and post some questions and stuff, I answer them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Bill was telling me during the break that uh, he will, in, in each and every question that comes on there, he'll have his assistant read those. Yeah, to him. 
No, no, no just Reno. Reno. Yeah. Just Reno. Give it to themselves. Tell them to give it to themselves. <laughs> but first. he has his assistant. Well, it's not really his assistant. It's, it's just a guy. His assistant, yeah. Hey, Dave works around the house a little, yeah. but he will have him read those things right. and, to himself. Uh, to himself. <laughs> and if he sees his lips moving, he'll tell him to close his mouth. Just he close your mouth. Know nothing I don't want to hear that. nothing. That's right. That's what Bill told me. Each and every one, though. Joe? Yeah. You're 18? I am. Oh, and then he said he'll uh, have him reply as me, but not to say that on the. Oh, sorry. Yeah. All right, I screwed that part up. Okay. That's right. Joe? Yeah. What's up? You're 18. Yeah, actually, I had a question. Uh, oh, first of all, Adam, you're the god, dude. You're awesome. Drew, oh, you're a genius. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what Billy about Bill Bellamy? Cool. He's what? Bill is sound. I haven't really heard of him, but, dude, you're awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. What the hell kind of compliment is that? He hey. said he never heard of me. You never heard of BB <laughs> from, uh, from B-Town? I heard the name. You right. heard the B name. B-Heights. All right. All right. He's 18. He said he heard from the name. We he know Heights. he's heard it before. He's representing B-Heights. What's right. up, man? How can we help you today? Yeah, actually, I actually had a question about tattoos. Um, I'm really looking in to get a, um, at least one, but mm -hmm. I'm just kind of wondering what the risk, like, you know, is there any chance of getting, you know, more, um, like, for skin cancer or anything like that, and what's the uh, risk taking it off? The Is it really expensive, that kind of stuff? I don't know of any skin cancer risk. People always worry about the viral infectious diseases like Hep B and the Hep C and uh, HIV, yeah. which is, you know, these are disposable equipment there's no real chance of that yeah. like i was thinking I was, you know what i was thinking about today yeah you know it looks good medium-sized guys don't look right with a tattoo super spindly skinny guys super like tommy huge, yeah. lee look good and then huge buff guys look good but medium-sized i'm too medium for a tattoo it yeah. wouldn't work right on yeah me. i know what you mean you're right you gotta be you gotta be iggy pop kind of skinny yeah or oh, you huge. you got a big big uh, big howie long size or something but the the, the medium dudes man, eh, it just doesn't work right and well, it's the hep, Joe, the hep thing. Hepatitis yeah. B, hepatitis C. How do you get that? I, I never understood what hepatitis B, Hep C, or D. I don't know. I don't hepatitis know what, just means inflammation. They don't have a D, do they? No. There is. A oh, there is? Delta. It's a delta. I would have got that. There's. A, it. It's just an inflammation <laughs> that in the my... liver. That's hepatitis. It's basically what it is. That is what it is. So why is there different levels of it? Or There's whatever? different viruses that oh, cause it. Of the liver. Of different inflammation. What's the worst one to have? Chronic C is one of the more serious ones right Whoa. now. It's what is the one that Pamela Anderson has? That C. That's the one that causes cirrhosis and liver cancer. So can you still have sex with somebody with, with hepatitis C? You can. There's debate about whether it's sexually transmitted. I am convinced it is. You're How about convinced it is? You wouldn't go without a condom with no hepatitis way. C. No. I don't know no. if I could have... Um, a frisbee contest with somebody with hat. Oh, yeah, 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 that you can. I think so I, I can, can do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I could get a BJ from Pam, couldn't I? Yeah, you, yeah. I'll let you have that. Check anyway, that Joe, the the ra laser well, removal. She's going to be delighted. La laser <laughs> this removal is great is, news for us. Is expensive, <laughs> sweetie. And great news. Multiple applications. <laughs> yeah, usually. no. Yeah, no. I different got it. He wrote it down. I got it for Different colors, but most tattoos can be removed now with laser. Okay. But is it like me? Is it full out just terribly expensive? Um, the laser? Yeah. Why would yeah. you want it to be removed? Because well, you think something's going to happen. You might. You won't like it, and you want to know if you got a, a exit. Right. Yeah. I mean, right now, I want to get one, like maybe a dragon or something. But you know, from uh, grandfather of three, you know, I don't know if I really want to say, hey, gra hey, kids, look at my tattoo. You know. Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, sure. All right. What's your nationality? Uh, white. Why? All right. Don't don't go for any of that crappy Indian or Asian crap, though, as a, as a white oh, no. guy. There's nothing worse well, than the, that. The I don't go for band. that. That's Why good. don't no, you know do. what you could do, though, just to that. test it out and see if you like it? Won't you do like a henna one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah just so, just so, and it stays on for like three or four weeks, and then you see if you like it. Like, for me, I like tattoos also, but my taste change all the time. So, like, I would have to get something that I could really lock into, and it's like, I don't know if I would like something forever. Yeah, like you test drive it. Joe. Yeah. Get, get the get the henna tattoo. The henna tattoo? Yeah, and they're pretty yeah. cool, too. You they're can get some really good ones. Yeah. No, really they're not too bad. Yeah. I had a I had one before. It's pretty what good. What was it? What was it? I got it down. Um, I had a, I had a, like a dragon. I had a dragon on right. one arm, and I did uh, one. So I did a shark or something. This guy did a shark. It was cool. I like uh, I like one like I want like once you get the tat, no one will ever question you. So uh, you could get a tat of an aircraft carrier, and you could just say that's my ship, and everyone would just think that was your ship. That's you your know, know what I mean? Yo, that's what that's the tour. Okay. I did a tour right there. Right? Yeah, um, the Catalina. That's my ship. That that's right. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, I think you'd get a space shuttle tattoo, and people would leave you alone. Just figure you flew on the space shuttle. Like once you get that tat, 
Oh, yeah, you're That's, locked into you're it. You're locked into and it. And your tattoo says a lot about you, so don't pick, like, some really corny or whack. No, I know. Drew had one on his back. It was uh, the font says A, oh. and it was really bad. I think oh, he chose that, it in, like, the later 70s. Then I just remember the, Henry the, Winkler and his hands were moving. Pinocchio on my lips. <laughs> the Pinocchio fish, too. Yeah. All right. Tinkerbell on the ankle. Let's uh, take let's, a break. Oh, we got to take a break? Yeah. Already? Oh, we do. Oh, we have a All right. Bill Bellamy is uh, here tonight, and... Uh, what? I don't know why. I was just, I was thinking about, I was thinking about that Crank Yankers call where uh, Drew <laughs> speaks Ebonics. And I know it's this is going to make Drew, it's going to make Drew uncomfortable, <laughs> but I think, I think Bill would get a big kick out of this. Which one? Oh, this is good. Oh, this I is love good. Crank Yankers. Oh, good. Okay. Cue, cue right. that up. Cue that up. Would you please, Anderson? We'll hear it after hey, the break. They put me you up had a hazy, you'd be out of the house. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is good. All right, Bill Bellamy here tonight. We'll uh, be right back with Dr. Drew and his uh, hizzy after this. Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Bill Bellamy is In our the house. Tonight. Oh, we've had some great questions today. Oh, yeah. And we got more on the way. Bill is uh, going to be at the Bray Improv Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That is uh, this week. Two shows on Friday and Saturday. You can go to uh, www.billbellamy.com. Check it out. If you uh, want to find out any information about where he's going to be or what he's up to. Now, let's see. Uh, Crank Yankers, the uh, Comedy Central show that uh, we created, is uh, on tonight, by the way. What Actually, time? Actually, was on an hour ago. <laughs> oh. I, didn't, I didn't do a great job of plugging it, I guess. Oh, you don't have to, man. I know, I'm sure people watch it. Oh, it's, they watch it's, it. Hyster it's hysterical. I'm glad that Bill likes it. And uh, Dr. Drew was, uh, did a very special Crank Yankers episode and, with me. And right. I, will, I will dismiss myself during this heart he, he's very he gets, he gets very embarrassed. He gets nervous. He gets very well, nervous. You, you he gets very, he gets very embarrassed. Your, your headphones. Your buddy here. Okay. So and you uh, crap out of me when I get back. <laughs> yeah, but what now what what why Drew is leaving is Bill has brought a little muscle with him. Yeah, it's just very, in case we, we get offended, we're gonna have very, to uh very large twist Dr. Drew up. Very, very large <laughs> man. Into yeah, small so, pieces. There's a, a wives tale out there that, that black males have larger penises. All right. <laughs> Please. Dr. Drew is uh, now left. Now, this is a crank anchors call where we called somebody. What we did is we doing a lot explaining. We collected phone numbers off on the air or off okay. the air and then called them back saying we were uh, making a making a best of tape. So okay. uh, let's. Uh, it better be good. Let's uh, let's hear it. Peace out. <laughs> No, that's Dr. Drew. No, that is he's for, good. for Dr. Drew. He's I give, good. I gotta give it up. I know because he he threw a lot of things that didn't go together. I but <laughs> didn't because it was effort great. was incredible. You, you can't be mad at Dr. Drew for that. No, you could, you could, but I no can't be because mad. it was I a lot of like things that he just grabbed out the air and he well, tried to slam them was, together. It wasn't on the air. It wasn't off the air. I had it written. Oh, on you had a, it written on a, <laughs> on a marks a lot board. I was holding it up. <laughs> like he, he probably can't even say what. I, <laughs> he didn't know what to say. The stuff they cut out was me going, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, we I, I've through. never we really, really thought of Dr. Drew as a hip dude. Oh, yeah. But oh, no. um, I this think that was very, very hip for him to go outside of his comfortable box. He's practically Dr. J. Oh. <laughs> I still think we ought to do another one of those. All right. Well, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. And I think we'll get you're some, all right, uh, Drew. we got uh, to get Bill Bellamy make some calls uh, this season, too. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get down with you guys. Yeah. I got a couple characters that are hot. Yeah, work. Uh, tell us. Uh, well, we'll talk off the air, but uh, we'll, uh, well, don't worry. We'll uh, set you up. We'll figure it out. Michelle? Yes. You're 19? You? What's up? Yes, I am. Yeah, and, and the good news is you get a puppet made after you. Oh, it's hot. Awesome. Yeah. What's happening, I Michelle? I love St. Yankers. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I am actually a lesbian, but I have been um, sleeping with a guy lately. Okay. Um, he brought a girl over to my house last night mm. and decided to bang her in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a great guy. Mm. Yeah, and so I was wondering if I should drop him or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he doesn't think you're his girlfriend, though, does he? No, he kind of thinks of it as kind of like a side relationship. Yeah, so that's um, why he did that. He was probably you as a side relationship, yeah. or this other girl as a side relationship. 
I was the side relationship. Yeah. He started getting in with this girl, but she already has a boyfriend. Mm. Okay. So why have you led him to believe that this is just a friends with benefit kind of thing if indeed you have feelings for him? Um, it, at the beginning, it was a friends with benefit kind of thing, but after a while, I started to develop uh, feelings for him. We well, should have um, told him. You got to tell him that. Yeah, I, I, did tell him, I did tell him that, but he just was like, "Well, at the first, you know, we decided this was going to be one of those things where we no, weren't going to get this involved." This is a great guy. A I great like when guy. guys do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. listen. He's winning. Yeah. 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 Well, he's like, "Well, in the contract here, it says uh, you won't have feelings." Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Look, he's, he's just he's just having a good time. He's screwing. It. He's probably hoping you join in. Yeah. <laughs> well, he started comparing me to her. He was saying, "Well, she's been with guys before. Maybe she gives better blowjobs." Yeah. Well, All right. So, listen, so do you think she... a lesbian could give better head than a straight girl? Um. Or do you think there's probably, any? Well, I think right, I think the but... uh, chewing tobacco is a hindrance sometimes. If they take that out, <laughs> then I think Aww. they can perform. Yeah. No, I know you guys like the dip. Hey, Michelle, what's up with you? Why is your antenna so bent? You, 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 you're, you say you're a lesbian, you're falling in love with this guy? Yeah. What's up? Your girlfriend well, I mean, and your girlfriend? I couldn't, I couldn't get any girls, and so I kind of went for a guy because he was kind of into me. So well, I what's, it what, like what's wrong? What's up with your self-esteem? Why can't you get any girls? I don't, I've been trying. I mean, all the girls that I like over at my school and stuff don't pay me any attention. Well, you so gotta, you, you got to find dykes, though. I mean, you're, you're going after straight chicks, right? No, I've been looking. I've been going to clubs and stuff. I just can't find anyone um, in my area. I guess wow. that likes me. I never heard of girls like like striking out. That's pretty hard, huh? It's kind of nice. Girls strike actually. out, and then I they like come that. back to us at the, at like oh. <sighs> can't oh, get a girl. Like I can't get with a dude. <laughs> All right, you uh, you big gal, Michelle. <laughs> um, I weigh what do I weigh? Two ten. Two ten. Oh, ain't That's nobody picking it. you up. What are you? What are you? Eight feet tall. Two ten. No, I weigh, I'm five seven. Oh, you were on the oh. two ten. No. Are you yeah. driving on the two ten, or no. you weigh two hundred and ten pounds? I weigh two hundred and ten pounds. Oh yeah, you better stay with that dude. Because I'm telling you, most hey. lesbians, most lesbians, they want, they all into the beauty. Oh really? And it, it's usually one girl who's like sort of like the dude, right? Yeah, that could be Michelle. Oh, yeah, she definitely do. She wear two ten. Anyway, I am not. I am so a chick. I know you're a chick, but you heavy as hell. But anyway, what I'm saying is, is that there's one girl who's sort of like the masculine of the two. Right. And most lesbians that I've ever run across, they are really into girls that are like kind of sexy and kind of thing. Now, you could be a sexy big girl, too. Don't trip. But I'm just saying, if you're 210, you may need to go to a big girl bar. And by the way, that's a radio 210. That's yeah. like being on the moon. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's over the radio. I mean, what's we the difference be between a 210-pound or a 300-pound dude and a 210-pound woman? You're really in a special category. That's right. You have to have Who? Yourself. That's a lot of love, girl. Hey, Michelle. Uh-huh. Michelle, you got to drop a couple pounds. It'll be easier yeah. to get laid. I, if you get, I know. I have been working on that. I've been going to the gym and stuff. Get okay. fine. Hey, Michelle. That'll do it. That'll and do I, don't, it. I don't have any medical training, but I can promise you, get in shape. Feel good about yourself and watch how many women start coming your way. It will change like that. Oh, okay. All right. And, and what is, uh, what's up with that in that you're a lesbian, you don't like dudes, but you get in a relationship and one of you plays the dude? Do you, you know what I mean? Yeah, Doesn't that's kind of crazy. Confusing? Yeah. One, one of you is going to wear uh, overalls, have a buzz cut, and uh, <laughs> use, have the strap on, and the other one's going to be, you know, be uh, looking like Judy Garland. What, what is that? Do you, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I don't thought understand you like chicks. Doc. There's a chick. Why don't you get a chick? Why do you get a chick? You get a dude with a vagina. And some of these chicks are so butch, they're they're more dude like than guys because yeah. they're working at it. They work hard. I mean, they're they're, they're doing it hard. <laughs> I never understand that at all. Like the girls say they want to be with a woman, but then the their girlfriend is just look just like me. <laughs> no, no, so not, get, no. But you know what More I'm saying, but just you. like... I mean, don't take that a bad tough, way, but if tough, you... If like, you, just, yeah. I'll kill somebody over Felicia. No, I mean, we're, we're, talking, we're talking butch. Like, now, you, if you she, would be if, a good-looking lady listen, if you listen this, that like, if, if, goatee, if, you know? If, <laughs> don't look Seriously. at me like that. Well, hey, I mean, listen, you're an attractive man. Hey, listen, I mean, uh, 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 Michelle could be... What? Michelle could be the big butch dude. No. 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 Bill would be a nice... No. ...be a nice little starter kit for you, you know what I mean? Get you in. You know what I mean? <laughs> Work them out. Hard on you. Nah, no, I don't do I that mean, kind of stuff. 
No, nah, it's a favor. Just, it's a favor. Just, as a favor. Yeah. Hey, listen, the girl, Michelle, is definitely going to need to really feel good about herself, too. Because if you know, it seems like she's got a lot of little problems there, yeah. Adam. Yeah, yeah, there's issues. I mean, come on. There's she issues. one day, Monday, I'm a lesbian. Next day, I'm taking some ding a ding, ling a ling. No, and, and let me do that. Though. They're a little more fluid than men. The men go one way or the other. Right. But women will go back and forth. But like also, that. this is this is this is fat chick abuse. Where this is what a dude does. Where it's like, yeah, I'm gonna bang my other girlfriend while you're sitting in the other room watching TV. You no, can hear you're me banging eating her. A, a hoagie. Yeah. You're sitting there eating a hoagie. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bang this cutie over here because we're friends. You said I could hit it once in a while, whatever. Right. Got to be more clear like Dr. Drew said. That's right. I'm just saying guys, I think, are abusive, too. You, you know how they act with you – know, here's how they treat fat chicks. They treat fat chicks like you treat a rental car. Yeah. Eh, who cares? It ain't my car. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, also... I'm not going to drive it off a cliff, but I'll throw it in reverse while I'm still rolling forward. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I think, I think sometimes and I'll eat if I spill a little something. I spill yeah. a little something. No, no that's deal. just ain't no but soda. I'm not gonna torch the car. No, but if I gotta, if I catch a little bumper when I'm backing out of that spot, so, so be what? It. It's a rental. So but there's it. another part, uh, sort of abuse that guys that we've never really talked about is that, that there's a certain subset of guys that will abuse a woman for having had sex with him. Yeah, that they're like really? they're, they're like so disappointed that they'll they'll start they become sort of uh, they they almost, they have to they have to soil them yeah, somehow right yeah, yeah, yeah that they just so run them into a wall yeah yeah all right <laughs> like a rental car yeah I like that the rental car I like that's a nice reference I could really Thank relate you. to that Adam yeah what are the what's the number one rental car um, you got the eating for me it's putting it into different gears while I'm still moving and not uh, not actually uh. stopping I like that. That's my move. All right, let's uh, let's talk. You know what I mean? When you're backing out of your driveway in a rental car, you'll throw it into drive while you're still rolling backwards. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. You would never do that in your no, car. No, you would never do that with a skinny, hot car. No. But that big, fat rental car. Oh, kill it. So be it. That's fart right. In it, fart in it all day. Fart all French day. French fries Turn the all heater over the floor, on. Yeah. Roll the windows up. Fart away. Leave the keys in the ignition when you head into the store, too. Who cares? That's right. Slide keep across cool. the hood oh, like Starsky and Hutch. Yeah. All right. Big fat hood. All right, where are we, Drew? Melissa. Melissa? Hi. You're 19? Uh, What's yeah, up? I'm 19. Mm -hmm. um, I was calling with a question about my boyfriend. Um, we've been together for a year and about a month, and in this entire time, I've met his friends once. And, mm -hmm. you know, he would go and see him you know, a couple times a weekend, which is cool. But I was never ever allowed to go to be to meet any of his friends. To meet any of his friends. Do you, you think he's ashamed of you? No, I I really don't. Um, well, what do you think the problem is? I don't know. I well, really, maybe I it, okay. It's a couple security. couple things. How old is he? Nineteen. And how long have you been dating? Um, a little over a year. Mm. Couple things, guys. Okay, nineteen-year-old guys are very dangerous to be around your girlfriend because they either screw them or tell them something that you don't want them to know, or just abuse you in some fashion. It's, it's lose, it's, it's lose, lose. Yeah. It's lose, lose. Right. He could have had a girlfriend that did hit on one of his buddies, or, or vice versa. Or he could just have some loudmouth buddies like I got. Like, Tell him about the time you crapped in the shower when you were drunk. Tell him. He could be ashamed of his friends, not just her. Or they could carry on as a group and do yeah. things that might not yeah. occur so hard. There's not, nothing in it for, for the guy. Or, Potential or it trouble. Could, or it could be that sometimes when you're a guy, you don't bringing your girl around your friends makes the relationship seem more uh, yeah, serious. serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe he doesn't hear though. Yeah, but you know, hey. What is that? I have friends that don't take girls out only at night. They, they're only they're vampires. <laughs> like you know, if you're not, if it's a girl that you're not really comfortable with, that's just not up to would par. You, would you date that girl for a year though? Yeah, because the would. booty is good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you do stuff like that. You work with it. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. Yeah, True, you know about the mafia tang, right? <laughs> <laughs> M Melissa. Yeah. All right, so are you feeling like what, maybe what, what, what he's Mafio not, thing? I don't know, he's not proud of you or something? He's embarrassed uh, by you? Well, I don't think it's that. Um, we'll see. Another thing, a lot of times, like, I'll stay at his house, and I'm pretty close to a lot of his family, and so I don't think it's an issue of him not being, like, proud of me or right, so, being, like, embarrassed. All right, so what do, you, what do you care? Do you care? I do care because back when we first got together, we decided... 
if he was going to go to parties or hang out with his friends and there were, like, other girls around, I could go, too. And if it was just a guy's night out, then the guys would go out and I wouldn't say anything. Mm. But... Um, you know, they'd so have carefully, okay, carefully tilled the soil on this one. Do you, do you, yeah, but do you think that uh, in general there's something up with this guy? Is he uh, evasive when you ask him questions? Does um, he does he seem like kind of guy would cheat? Except, no. Uh-uh. Yeah. All right. Nineteen. Nineteen. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He no cheaters at nineteen. What's he no. do? What does he do? Um, we're both in college. Okay. Oh. All right. I, uh, look, I, I don't. You can ask him to go hang out with his friends or be included, but uh, most guys, I, I don't know. Look, here's Who wants the, to be that serious at 19, though, like yeah. that, like powerful serious. I mean, dating is one thing. I mean, come on. There's two dudes though at 19. There's the smart dude, like this dude, which is I don't want this woman anywhere near my friends. And then there's always that asshole buddy of yours, who's like, Brings the girl every time. Tammy's coming. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, we're going to the donkey show, and they're like, <laughs> she's cool. And she likes like, donkeys. I, I'm like, I can't beat off with it. She's coming with us. She's cool. And this is that one who wants to bring his chick camping and stuff. Like <sighs> like five dudes and her. Whatever no. you do, he's got it. What is that instinct, by the you way? Where you, that. you, you just get, that's it's that's like, insecurity. listen, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to kill you and we're going to rape mm-hmm. her. That's yeah. what we're going to do. We'll bury <laughs> you both up in the goddamn mountains. <laughs> Can Tammy come? Tammy's cool. They're always explaining how cool she is, but it's not about being cool. No, it's about it's having a, a representative from the other side. When you're out doing the man thing. stuff, yeah, right. These guys are so insecure and so empty that they can't be without her. She's got to be there all the time. Wow. Yeah, that's and that's empty. just that's just weird. It never yeah. works. And at 19, if you got a bunch of friends, chances are three of them are better looking than you are. And the chick always gets hot for the one guy, and the guy always gets hot for your chick then because she's the no, only no, chick, no. and that's oh, all that. Oh. Ain't nothing in it. I I don't know. To me, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If he oh. does his thing and you don't think he's cheating and he doesn't, have, and you don't go around with him but you're having a good time with him, leave it alone. Let it be. Yeah. Let yeah. It be. You're and, doing great. And listen, you women got to learn to leave stuff alone a lot of the time because what you got now is a seven and you'd like it to be a nine but it could drop down to a three. That's the thing. Mm. That's what... See, people got to do that. I've I've been thinking it's a lot a about one. this, Drew. We were talking... When we were doing the man show, we had this uh, director that uh, he was a good solid seven and a half. Right. And 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 I was telling my uh, one of my partners, he said we got to get a, rid of this guy. We got to get a nine. I said we could get rid of this guy and get a four. Yeah. Where are we gonna get a nine? We might get lower than seven and a half. Pretty good. Ended up getting rid of the guy. Went through five guys. They all suck. Never found the right guy. Ended up hiring the guy back after about three months. The point is, <laughs> well, seven and knowing, a half ain't bad. You, you was peaking. It's, it's, knowing your, bad. Knowing your value in the market. Yeah. Know your value, man. That's yeah. a good one, Adam. You pulled on out your ass on that one. That's a good one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's right. Right out your ass. All right, speaking of pulling stuff out of my ass, let's go to the bathroom, Drew. Really? We're breaking early for the pee. <laughs> Break early. We take uh, a little pee break right. tonight. It's a lost time. Bill Bellamy. All right. In the hizzy. <laughs> in the hizzy for shizzy. <laughs> Going to be down at the uh, Brea Improv. That's uh, this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Two shows. Two big shows. Two big shows. Two big shows. Friday and Saturday. <laughs> be there. All right, we'll uh, take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam, Dr. Drew. L O V E Line is right here. That is Bill Bellamy. Bill can be found. I wish you could have seen what I just did making your damn yell lemon tea. Just a shit. Thank you. The plastic piece of the spark that's hot water thing just broke off and sprayed all over the room and me and everything. Oh, Oh, yeah. Are you okay, my dear? Do you want me to rub some butter on that? No. You sure? Suck it up, Drew. Some what? Some butter. Suck it up, Drew. He's on burn. burn. He's red. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his hands are tender. But imagine me. I can't. I can't even screw in a light bulb. I'm trying to fix this thing. Hot water spray everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You. You aren't good with your hands. You shouldn't Horrible. be working on people. I don't do certain procedures. I don't. Not good. You stay away. But you put a finger up somebody, right? That doesn't take skill. Well, I think it does. <laughs> I think it takes a soft hand. I got. T- I got. I got feel. I got good. Uh, you know what's up there. 
Like, it, it, like, what would you like if you felt like a golf ball? You know the difference between a golf ball and a light bulb. Like, if you put oh, your yeah. finger up there, yeah, yeah. a grapefruit. Okay, because Bill's going to test you. Okay. Hey, uh, Doctor Drew, uh, did you have to get that? Uh, that um, what is that uh, exam when you Sigma get a certain age? Col- a prostate, yeah. Yeah, and the colonoscopy. But I mean, do you, you get it? Like once, do you get it once a week, or do you just get it that one year? You get once, once a year. Is it you proposing something to me? No, I was just wondering because you, your boy said you like. Yeah, he's in Things the Things in your butt. <laughs> like golf ball in the butt. We're just bonding. We're, we're <laughs> just bonding during the break. Just make Dr. Drew just was like, well, not like a, not like a golf ball in your butt. How about that? How often do you get the finger in your butt after after 40? Yeah, after 50, it's really important. Every once year. A, after, yeah. once wow. a year? Mm-hmm. How about you do a thing where instead of the finger every year, they do the fist every 10 years? <laughs> That's my plan. Like, I just take it once every 10 years, but a good But it's going to be boom. It's going to be bad. Oh, yeah. You're going to holler. You ain't going to feel it for another but 10 years. But you got years. 10 years before you see my fist again. I had a good time. The sur- I talked to a surgeon friend of mine tonight. I said, no, nah, that, that hernia, we're going to have to open it up this time. Oh, yeah. Drew got a, her- got a hernia surgery uh, about three, four Whoa. months ago. Nice. Months. They're going, they're How going did back you get in? it? From lifting? No, some it's going back jeans. in. Straining and crying bad over all them kids. Okay. Bad jeans. It going back in. You got going a tender stomach. Bill, how old are you? 38. 38, you're going to get the finger in a couple of years. Nah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, tonight, if you You get it tonight. You get it tonight. Oh, get Dr. It Drew. With. But Dr. Drew stick his finger in everybody, but I don't want my butt stuck up. Yeah. That's a good time. But they're about all, 10 years. They're all special. He though. said at 50. No, no. You you, you got to get the first one at 40, don't you? That's a good idea at 40, yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I got one at, like, 38. Yeah. Yeah. You know it was funny. The I guy, you, the guy was putting his finger up my ass. I beg your pardon. It, it wasn't you. It was no. uh, some <laughs> other doctor. I, I think he was a doctor, and he said <laughs> he, he, he was, he was smoking. <laughs> he had a jacket on. He was smoking. He was wearing a leather members only jacket. Uh, all right. So he's putting his finger up my ass, and Rice, he's putting it up. He goes, <laughs> "You know the routine. I'm sure you've had this before." And I was like, "Uh, no, 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 I haven't." You're, you're bust, what if you fart on him? Is that my chair? Is that bad? Is That's that bad? Right. Like, uh, no, it's, it's considered it's considered a sign of respect. In, this you, in many in cultures. cultures in careful. many cultures. All right, so Bill, you gotta get the finger in about two years. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. That's all right. The fist in ten. Fist, but then you don't need it again until you're sixty. <laughs> He's stupid, man. He's crazy as hell. How do you work with this guy? He gets why well, we split the money. Are you kidding? And I don't look at it as us getting paid the same. I look at you as taking half of my money. <laughs> you understand? Come There's a here. difference. Jake? Yes. You're 24? What, what's up, Jake? What's going on? Hey, what up? I tried shrooms about two months ago, and I wanted to know, um, like, what are the side effects? You know, it was great. It was, like, ten times better than uh, weed, but... I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's not much good information about that. It, it because it is a hallucinogenic, we expect to see some brain injury from it. That seems to be a common feature of drugs that cause hallucinations as their primary effect. But to my nobody ex- does it enough. To nobody really does know. it enough. I suspect is why we don't see much measurable or, or sort of easily identifiable damage from it. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, ecstasy we see problems all the time. Or like acid because it's like a acid drug. all the time. So, okay. Yeah. I have this theory about the brother man not taking shrooms. Am I right, Bill? Yeah. Stay into that. Yeah, we don't really do the shrooms big. I, think I mean, Jimi Hendrix is like the last black guy to take shrooms. I mean, a lot of people do shrooms, though, because they think that it's totally natural, comes yeah. right out the ground situation. Listen, there, are, there are hallucinogenic mushrooms that will give you these amazing high there in South America, and then you'll drop dead. Yeah. Are you very serious? natural? Very natural. And you will drop dead. These plants are poisonous. Have, these plants have these chemicals on them, so you will not come back and eat them again. It's to protect the plant. Yeah, that's what nature put that there for. That's why. Whoa. It's natural. Yeah. How that's do you true. figure out that a shroom would get you high? Man, that smokes everything. Well, that's, that's it says right. something about humans, doesn't it? Or how about squeezing a, a frog's eyeballs and licking the juice that comes out? That's also hallucinogenic. Yeah. The Sonoran frogs. But just, just people eat. figured that out. Just eating lobsters and stuff, though. It's all a mess. I, mean, I don't know how anything worked out. Yeah. I, I really don't. I always think about stuff like that. Like, who's the first man said, let's crack that lobster open? Yeah, yeah the uh, the shrimp, well, it was first, I think it was, I think it, first the guy started smoking weed, and then the eating really began. Oh, I see. It's they started everything. eating everything. <laughs> But uh, yeah, shrooms. Shrooms are yummy. I, I've tried shrooms a couple times. I had a good couple time. times. Yeah. What do you mean? Did you do it times? again recently? No, it's been a long well, time. I only know about the Lee Press on Nail time. 
Yeah, I got high on mushrooms when I was 19, uh -huh. and I was watching a commercial for uh, those Lee press-on nails. <laughs> uh oh. And when you're high on mushrooms, you're like a newborn, right? But you like your eyes are like open like saucers, and you're right. like, "What's going on with society, man? Right. <laughs> Why does the why do men kill each other? What right, is going on? Oh, why can't we just love? And so I saw a commercial for those Lee press-on nails, right. you know? And I was like, the female of the species sticks long red plastic things to the ends of her fingers so she can be more attractive to the male species. What is up? What is going on? How does this work? Why are they sticking plastic to the end of their fingers, man? Press what? on nails. Press on nails. If you get high on mushrooms, it'll seem like a really weird idea. Yeah. Like, here's the deal. You stick that plastic at the end of their, your fingers, I'll come F you. <laughs> I got to see blood red pieces of plastic, like claws oh, sticking in it. Break them off in my back. Then I saw a monster truck commercial oh. where big trucks were mashing small trucks, and the crowd was cheering, and I was like, we're insane. <laughs> we're all nuts. We're growing, going nuts because a truck is beating up another truck. <laughs> What's going on? Then my buddy Ray came in. He was all high on coke, and he freaked me out. And then, and then that was it. That was it was it. bad no times mushrooms. after that. What did he say? You're high on mushrooms, dude. You're high. Yeah, that yeah. was it. And then he picked my buddy up, the wheeze, and he started throwing him around, and I was scared he was going to hurt him. And I got really sad. Oh. You know, you already said you already sad for the little trucks too. I felt bad for the little trucks. I felt bad for the nails yeah. that were being pressed. All the girls on. with the little short nails, like they work on cars. Let, but let me tell you, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in society that you don't think twice about because your head would explode. You know, just as simple as a woman putting on lipstick, painting her face up essentially, with makeup before she leaves the house. All the weird rituals, all the things we do, all the stuff we do to each other, yeah. all these rituals of life. And you can't stop and think about it because you never leave the house or your mind would be so steeped in that thought you'd never get anything done. But when you get high on mushrooms, it's like shaking your head like an Etch-A-Sketch. Yeah. And there's nothing there anymore. <laughs> and you just sit there with your eyes popping wide open and you're watching... You know, Survivor, you're watching oh. Fear Factor, you're watching uh, Temptation Island, you're seeing a Lee Press on like, now. Like you would, you, you would just, sit there wide open, and you'd oh just be God. thinking, like, like, how my cell phone works. What's going on? Yeah. What's going on? I say something into this little thing the and, size of a secret And my box boys and, all the way in Kentucky. Boys in Kentucky, here's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm taking a picture with my phone. Ah! Hold on. You, no, you see a commercial for OnStar. It's like, yeah, I'm locked out of my car. That's all right. We'll tell the satellite to hit the button and your car buttons will come up. Oh. <laughs> you mean something that's 500,000 miles above us traveling at 76,000 miles an hour is going to open my car for me? <laughs> no coat hanger? No nothing? No. You'll freak out. Yeah. Your head will explode. Yeah, you got to sit down. That's why I can't do it anymore. No more. Because you, I'd, you be had work, enough. I'd be freaking out. Yeah. I'd freak out that I had a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> you got a radio show? Wait a minute. You talking to this thing the size of a kielbasa and it goes goes all over the country? How does that work? <laughs> I would go insane, Drew. I couldn't do it Instead anymore. Instead being the weather. Yeah. I'd go insane. I would go insane. At least he knows to stop. <sighs> See, you can do it when you're 18 or 19 because then you just sit there and stare at your hand and you say, oh, man. I got a hand. I got to get a Yoo-Hoo in me, man. I'm <laughs> but when you get older and you start having bills and stuff and you have radio building, and you go nuts. Oh, you my go God. Say, Bill, don't do it. You go nuts. I won't, nuts. man. You go nuts. Five. Yeah. You'll, what's that? Where are we going? Five? I just got surreal. I got weird just thinking of I you. Know you guys tell, get yeah. that contact yeah. high? I saw you going a little nutty there. Yeah, Bill, you got a little nutty. You'd be sitting around going, I was on MTV. <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> was that me? What oh, was that? Every day. That's just a dream, Keep man. Paying. You gotta be kidding me. Traveling. You just sit <laughs> out. You watch. Uh, you watch uh, uh, on any given Sunday, your head would explode. Oh my God! Your head the would hits. explode. Your head would explode. Jamie. Yeah. What's up? Hi. Um, my question is: There's a talk show called Sex Talk that I had watched, and there was. It's an older lady, and mm -hmm. she said that if you have excessive anal sex, that it can tear a hole in your lining and that you can get pregnant. 
This is this is why it's bizarre having this woman talk about sex when she's not a clinician and has not a single thread of real knowledge about medicine. What, really? what is she talking about? She's saying that to, she's talking about a rectal vaginal fistula, which is a which it, which is basically a surgical emergency. You get that fistula once every ten years. If you actually, first of all, to cause rectal vaginal fistula is almost impossible. And you, what you could do is tear the line and cause an abscess, and a fistula could form. Mm -hmm. But believe me, you would know that. I mean, believe me. First of all, you, you'd have stool coming out your, your vagina. You'd have, you'd have inflammation. You'd oh be a mess, God. a mess. And so the idea that that would, that like, like, a, like a, a, a tunnel would open up where you could get pregnant, it's totally absurd. Right. Yeah. This is, this is crazy having that woman. Well, who's she talking about? This, there's, 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 yeah, there's a talk show boys with this, over there, you know a woman I mean, who's upset with this called girl. Sex Dog, and she, just, she gives all this medical information. She has no... It's on the radio? No television. Oh, on TV, yeah. and she's not qualified, oh. basically. Jamie? Yes. All right. Well, this is why you have to listen to Dr. Drew. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. You, can do, you can do yourself go. lots of damage with anal sex, but that's not one of the things you can do. So, all right. so you can't get pregnant from it? No, I mean, no. not unless the sort of whatever comes out drips, drips down south, and yeah. then drips, it goes north. Yeah, and that's yeah. pretty unlikely. So do you like anal sex more than regular sex, or is it, what, what's going on? Um, no, I'm just experimenting, but I want oh, to Oh, you're trying. Sure you, you can cause fissure, fissures and fistula and tears and cause hemorrhoids, lots of good problems. Is there any proper procedure for anal sex? Because people see you saying all these things, so people must be just getting jacked up. No, no they no, make you can it. just do that just by... Yeah, people do get jacked up. Right? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's a rough night. Yeah, well, you got to, uh, let me ask you this, Drew. Is a guy more uh, more equipped for some anal sex, you know? Uh, you got a guy who's 200 pounds. He's got a nice, you nice, know, nice sturdy male rectum, yeah, you know, not some stuff, little, I don't, I don't got know. some little Asian chick coming training, in at 98 pounds. A lot of the stuff we saw were in men, a lot of the problem. But then men But are, that's repeated trauma. But that's <laughs> repeated trauma. Adam has never gotten Pounding. over Adam has been sort of sulking, dis dispressed, everything since he found out that m probably most homosexuals actually don't have anal sex. Yeah, that, I, that found that I, I found that out. I found that out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, what do they do? They have oral sex. BJ's. Oh, that's a what lot of BJ's. That's, oh, yeah. It's Not a, that much it's anal. A ma minority do the anal. I was a little upset. So, yeah, yeah, so, so do, 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 do a lot of do a lot of women um, have anal sex these days? You think is it coming it's, up? In my last three four years, a lot of guys obsess a lot about that. Right. Oh, it's uh, on the rise yeah. though. It seems to be come back again this year. You know, no, we but, were, but look, we every period, every wasn't that big a deal. Now every, it's back on the, the everything radar. is the bar has been uh, raised, raised completely. Like right. you know, most chicks before they get out of high school have experimented with another chick these days. Right. And most chicks who are in a relationship more in a couple of years have, or even just. A, 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 a consistent relationship or engaging in this. I mean, people are just threesomes. Trying everything. Yeah, I mean, anal sex, threesomes, and uh, lesbian experimentation. Up, what, tenfold over the last 15 years? See, I, I think I think it came up, that stuff really hit, hit the ground running about five years ago, and it's waxed and waned since. And I think last year, I think after 9-11, a lot of that went away. Wow. And now it's suddenly coming back again. Is waxing girls... and waning when you make her sniff it after you? What is the wax and the wane, Drew? That's the wane. That's the wane part. Oh, that's the wane part. Do women have, I've heard a couple women say that they have better orgasms from anal sex. Some. Something. Some do. But that's, some. it's actually usually women that already are multi-orgasmic. Anyway. Yeah. So we, we've just... only talked to one that could have orgasm only with anal sex. Remember that a couple nights ago, in fact. That's right. And we were Fel so bewildered by it. Felchelina. I remember her. <laughs> All right, let's take ourselves a break. Yeah. This mushroom thing screwed me up. Yeah, now. you were kind of screwed up on it. He, 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 he got emotional. Yeah, he got, he got, got all weird. emotional. I'll tell you, we'll question things. Yeah, I understand. Too much. For, you, for your brain, that's tough. I would freak that, myself yeah. out. <laughs> you, you know, you'd go to you'd go to people live in the same room with a smoke detector chirping. Every yeah, we 50 yeah seconds. we have these people. No, I you know what I would do? I would stare at my flat screen TV and I would slowly <laughs> walk around to the back of it and then look at the front of it again Dude. and then go. This thing's as thick as a credit card. What's going on? How is What's it? going on? And it's coming off a satellite. I would go insane, Drew. Yeah. All right, let's do some mushrooms during the break. I'm telling, we'll freak out. Bill Bellamy. <laughs> He's crazy. Bill <laughs> Come back and recite the weather. Bill Bellamy here, everybody. Going to be at the uh, Bray Improv uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Two big shows, Friday and Saturday. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. See, I'm trying to get Bill to buy my book. 
Hey, everybody. Where, 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 are you? where are you? Where is your book? It's called Cracked. I want everybody to read it. It's a good book. Where, read it. Wait, Barnes & Noble? Fair, right. Amazon, anywhere. You can I get will it. get down. Right. Bill Cracked. Bellamy is uh, in the studio tonight. Going to be at the Brea Improv Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and, and Sunday. Sunday. Two big shows. Two big ones. Friday and Saturday. All right. Uh, where was we? Cheap Trick in here tomorrow night. And it's back to the phones we go. We'll speak to uh, Christy, who's 19. Christy? Yeah, hi. What's up? Um, I was wondering if my girlfriend goes and has sex with a guy and then comes back and has sex with me, should is there a chance that I can get pregnant from You're that? You're a lesbian. Yeah. Is there, is there a chance that she can transport You mean like moments semen? later? Yeah. Well, not like moments later, but within like a few hours or something. I mean, do, I'm just looking at whether I need to get on birth control or not if she starts a doing A lot that. of retarded... Uh, pregnancy hypotheticals coming out tonight. Yeah. So what if, but Drew, you say that the semen, that the sperm lasts inside the woman for in the like tubes in the in the tubes for like two, three days. Yeah. Three days. Seven three days. Hours. What if she had sex with a guy? The guy got off in her. Yeah. Then they got a uh, vibrator Ooh. or dildo. Ooh, and then sure and they're it. working there it around go. back and forth. Yeah. And one of the crafty sperm. No, I you're think there. That's how my mom. Pretty sure this is how my mom. I'm like, pretty sure that, uh, she may just be talking, but I'm pretty sure this is what she said: that one of this crafty sperm, the Corolla sperm, it's sticks, the Adam sperm. It's sticks the to the Adam sperm. sticks to the uh, double header yeah. and goes in into the there fomite. The fomite. Yeah, then the fomite. That's the yeah. object, yeah, that's right? The object. Could yeah. that happen? Yeah, it could happen. But what if Whoa. it's up in the tubes? No tubes. It's, it wouldn't it's be up way. There. It's inside the body. They don't make a uh, dildo that gets vagina. Up in the tubes? I know you love this. I make one. Vagina, Adam, not inside the body. See, I don't understand this part. There's inside the body, right. and then there's outside the body. Well, but there's inside the body that's outside the body that I don't understand. Like, the vagina's not inside the body. It communicates with the outside. Um, hmm. You see what I'm Technically, saying? Technically, I know what he's saying, but it sounds crazy. That's but how I'm about saying. this? When when the, the, the uh, sperm goes up in outside the body, but it's in the vagina, but it's outside the body. Yeah. When the girl really actually gets pregnant, it's inside the, in her body, in the tube. Way in the tube. Yeah, way inside. All right, so and that's could, where it lies for a couple of days. And, what, and then it descends to the uterus. And but what's Christy, so. what's Christy, what are you doing? You're letting your girlfriend just have sex with guys? Well, she's bisexual, and she's kind of just coming out into all this, and I'm mm -hmm. just, you know, trying to help her and be supportive and everything like that, and I don't wow. mind. Hey, Christy, really no, no, you've got, you've got something way more on your hands than you realize. It's not just because she's coming out. It's because she has a lot of confusion and a lot of chaos in her. And she's oh, I know that, which is out. why I'm trying to be, like, supportive and everything. You know, how you're, yeah, yeah, but you know how you're supportive of somebody that's got chaos? You help them contain it. You say, cut it out. Yeah, you got to set boundaries. You set boundaries. That's how you help somebody who's chaotic. You don't You don't go, hey, go enjoy whatever you like. It's great, great. What's that's the, how you make it worse. What's the guy doing? What do you mean the guy's coming out? Well, it's just, it's kind of hypothetical. We're we're making our relationship like an open relationship, and she's looking at going and being with a guy since she already has me. Do so, you get to have sex with the guys, too? No, I'm just, I'm just a lesbian. You're just a lesbian? She, just a lowly lesbian? Just a lesbian? I'd like to give you a raise. And, uh, Are you 210 pounds? I'm sorry, what? How much do you weigh? Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One. 38, I think, last time Okay, I that's cool, because we had a lesbian that was 210, and uh, nobody wanted her either. But you're fine. Right. You're 138. You're in a good category. You're all right. Considered a flyweight by the butch lesbian standards, yeah. by the way. She would have to fight I, I, I to, fly or junior flyweight. Yeah? What's I, that? I wanted to say something about the uh, the caller that came, called in before, because you're saying, you know, how you didn't understand how girls, they say they want to be with girls, but they go and they be with someone who looks like a guy. Right. Right. Well, see, that's where it, it's like guys are so visual and mm -hmm. girls are, like, more emotional. And you get yes. things from girls that you just can't get from a guy. Right. So it's right. like right. the outside appearance isn't what counts. But whereas a guy looking at two lesbians are going to go, oh, well, one's a butch. You yeah, know, but you're, you're making our guy. argument, which is if appearances don't count, why, why is it, it so happen? important that one of them look like a truck driver? Right. Well, it's not important. My, my no, it is. Or it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen so often. It's not well. It's it's like a standard generalization that the guy is going to look more masculine in a hetero relationship. But it happens both ways. You could have like totally asexual looking guys and like a butched out girl. My girlfriend and I are both like, well, I've been called a lip, uh, lipstick lesbian, and she's definitely mm -hmm. a femme. So 
Christy? Uh huh. Were, were you clubbed with a vibrator? Did it? It seems what? like you, it just no. doesn't seem like you're thinking clearly. I just a picture of being like yeah. uh, whacked over a head with a vibrator. I thought I thought that girls who are lesbian have very honest and kind of like under you know more mature relationships but it seems as so though you guys are having as much problems as heterosexual people you guys are like experimenting doing all these different things that make the normal dynamic relationship even harder yeah you better There's you better a lot of communication there which is what makes it easier you gotta, you gotta, yeah you listen know. let me tell you what's going on <laughs> christy's calling from san francisco oh, she, she's all up in her head yeah she said uh, we communicate we yeah, have open yeah. channels That's we BS. have discussions i'm letting her explore her yeah. sexuality you got a screwed up person who's acting out yes and you're just being a party to it you're enabling. and you're up in your head. You're enabling. You That's gotta right. put an end to it. That's you right. Gotta, you can't have intimacy when there's that kind of chaos and that sort of distraction. You can't. Yeah, it's right. not possible. Like, this, this reminds me of those uh, those uh, screwed up uh, hippie parents who's yes. like the eight year old is expressing himself. Who are we to intervene? No, That's no. Ridiculous. He's the kid. You're the dad. That's Step right. in. Straighten them out. Christy's sake, she, she's the kind of sane person. Her girlfriend's the not sane person. Right. right. And she's just rationalizing yes. everything. Matt? Yeah. You're 17? Yeah. What's up? All right. Well, uh, first of all, my girlfriend was supposed to start her period around the 23rd of September, right? Mm -hmm. So we go, and we're both we're both virgins, and we decide that we're going to have sex. Mm -hmm. So uh, I go in the bathroom and go to put the condom on. And uh, when I put the condom on, I was kind of, you know, in the heat of the moment, wasn't really thinking about my head. So when I put the condom on, I put it on upside down, and I realized mm -hmm. it was upside down. So I flipped it, and I, you know, I rolled it on. And I kind of had a little pre cum, so I I took a, uh, <laughs> I took towel. the towel took and I took one of her mom's face towels with the with the ro <laughs> with the rose embroidered on it. Yeah, put a little put a pre little pre cum right. on that. Still okay. has the initials cool. of her, of her father who passed away. Yes, go ahead. So I, you know, I wiped off the tip right, and then I with the um, family crest. Sure, right. <laughs> and uh, we when we started to have sex, I really didn't get it my head like you know all the way in because it hurt too bad, and we stopped. Right. And now she, when she was supposed to have her period around the 23rd, she still hasn't had her period. And so she's like a week late. And I'm wondering if if that could be it or just because I've heard that. How long ago did you have sex? What date? On the 23rd? 23rd. Yeah. You had the day, you had sex the day she was supposed to have her period. Well, she didn't, they didn't oh. have sex. He tried he to tried get in, sex, but he, yeah. he couldn't do it because she was too freaked yeah, out. Yeah, but he cleaned it off with the trusty yeah, bathroom I, towel. That would be, but again, maybe, maybe she wiped down with the towel, the same towel, after that. If this Ooh, child, ironic. if you have a child, we want, uh, we want to be notified because this is the Messiah. Yeah. This is it. This will be the Messiah. But I, I, I mean, I'm just saying, I've heard that like people that have sex yeah. the first time, it throws off their period. Yes, it can. And being anxious about your period coming can make your period not right. come. Yeah, okay. that happened to me once. Okay, Matt, you're fine. All right. I appreciate it. Were you at her folks house? No, actually, my parents were in Florida, and we were in my bed. It's your house. Yeah. I always wonder, Drew, I always think about this. What side, like, you guys ever do this? You go to a bathroom. You know where it is? Like, if you go in a dressing room, mm -hmm. and you go into the bathroom, and they got the towels hanging in there, yeah. and you wash your face, you wash your hands, you start reaching for the towel, and you think... No, no, no. I'm not going to get the outside part. I'm going for the inside. I'm going to fold it back. I'll right. use the backside. I'll use the inside. Then right. you think, wait a minute. Every jackass who comes in here is doing this. They're wiping themselves off with the part I'm wiping my face with. Now I go back to the ins I go back to the outside, and I think, no, no, that part's getting used see, too much. See that, what that, part of the towel do we need to use? This you know is what why, I'm saying? This, this, this is why you're going to become the poster child for why not to do mushrooms. Yeah, right. see, I would yeah. freak out staring at that towel. Yeah. That towel was... Been... <laughs> It's no, I don't. Never occur to me which side of the towel to use. Oh, and let me tell you, this whole that whole mushroom thing that was way before any terrorism, <laughs> any blowing up airplanes, or any of that crazy Hezbollah yeah. crap, or kind of all this. I, now that now that would be it. Now that would be it. I would now. I would think I'd be sitting on a dirty bomb. <laughs> I would hear it ticking <laughs> under my bed. I mean, no, you can't do that. No, you know you got to do. do. Bill you, Bellamy, Bray, you, Bray and Brown. You got to get all. You, you need know, no mushrooms. No, you can't Ever. go that direction. You know what you got to do. I don't even want you to have mushrooms in your soup. You go the booze direction now, where you just you put a few bu boozes down, and before you know it, you're in front of the mirror. You you got a problem. Your shirt's off. You're talking. Yourself. You got a problem with this. Yeah. You want some of this. <laughs> you want some. Come on, come on, towel heads. Bring it on. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring that dirty bomb. Yeah, I didn't think you were bringing it. You know what I'm saying? No, not that, all right. 
That's what you do. That's what. That's why booze is good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, mushrooms. You know, please don't bring it. Don't bring it. Yeah, and you're not even sure if you're alive to kill. You right. see what I'm saying? You're questioning that. Where's Bill this weekend? Bill, but mean Bill, Bill Bellamy. Mean Bill. Now where's he gonna we're be going this weekend? We're going to Santa Cruz. We're going to do some shrooms. We'll do some shrooms. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> I got a Friday, VW Saturday van and Sunday, right? I yeah. rented a VW van. It's just going to be me and Bill. We're and shrooms. About, shrooms. The whole back of it. All just we're going to talk about is MTV. That's, That's it. all. Just me and Bill. Back in the day. All right. We'll be back after this. Well, that's the show. Where did the time go? Two hours. I had a good time. Come and gone. Bill, we, uh, we uh, <laughs> made Bill it, You know, we sort of toured the, the human experience with yeah. you tonight. You know, we we, we really just got a lot deep, of territory. Fellas. A lot of territory. Just. We had some great callers call in, give we, us some good tips. We realized that, you know, fat lesbians don't get as much play as the really, you know, it was, uh, it's slimmer, a long, long, been a long been a theory of mine. We took a field trip without ever getting on a bus. Oh, dude, that's you're what deep. we did. You're deep. Deep. See, that's and the that, mushroom that's, that, that's old shrooms yeah, coming that's back. That's old shrooms. Rectovaginal <laughs> fistulas can form, but they're not magic a tunnels. fistula sounds like something you don't ever want to see. Every 10 years, I give you the fistula. <laughs> <laughs> you want the finger every, every once every... It's a two for one, you know? All right, here's the deal. Bill Bellamy at the uh, Brea Improv, Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thanks, a man. big celebrity. You're going to see a big celebrity doing comedy. All right. Thanks, Bill. Always right, good man. to see you. You guys keep kicking ass, and man. Until next time, it's Adam Crawler for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Okay. Are you driving on a 210 or no. you weigh 210 pounds? I weigh 210 pounds. Oh, yeah. You better stay with that dude. This has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on the show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Anne Engold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.